Alrighty, so we're getting closer to Canada's Wonderland's opening day, potentially. I don't know why I just pronounced potentially that way. Potentially. Um, but nonetheless, it's getting exciting. So uh, a lot of you know that Stage 2 has begun for most of Ontario, with the GTA being excluded from that, um, and will be about a week behind the rest of the province. We did learn today, um, based off of things we're hearing, that Stage 3 in Ontario should begin around June 26th, thus meaning Wonderland should be ready to open around June 26th. That being said, Wonderland has already started prepping for the opening. We have been able to see employees return to work. We've seen some of them cleaning queue lines and railings by the looks of it, sweeping, um, nothing else outside of that. Um, and uh, I'm assuming training is going to start. We're actually, by the looks of it, a week ahead of Kings Island and Cedar Point in terms of training and cleaning the park. So that's a really good sign because those parks have announced that they're going to open up first week of July. Thus, the July 1st uh, forecasted opening for Canada's Wonderland does still fit. Now, that being said, Behemoth does look like it could potentially, it's not confirmed, have some construction going on with those circular discs that we have seen stored in the park since last season. Um, the Mountain Bay Cliffs is well along the way on construction. They've started attaching the pieces. The whole bottom section and starting of the midsection has started. So when we film our construction update today, we should have a really awesome update for you guys as well. Um, nonetheless, I'm trying to think of everything I just totally forgot. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and Mount Bay Cliffs is on the way. I got Behemoth. There's no signs of retracking on Mindbuster. Uh, no signs of painting on Behemoth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It does look like Splashworks is going to get ready to open against what we had previously said in a previous video. So I do want to correct myself. It does look like Splashworks will open with the park. I'm going to assume it's going to be about a week, a week and a half after the park opening. If the park does open July 1st. If not, then it should open with the park um, around the second week of July. Uh, that being said, it, it looks like, um, based off of other Cedar Fair Park's announcements, we're not going to see virtual, virtual queuing coming to Cedar Fair. We're going to see, uh, you guys lining up with the stickers, the social distancing stickers in the queue line. So that's really cool. Um, and that's all the information I have currently. The Santa Claus has been removed from the top of front gate. So that's good news. And cars are being cleared out of the parking lot. Just wanted to provide you guys with a quick construction update at Canada's Wonderland. Almost all the coasters are ready to go. And yeah, super exciting. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am for the park. I know there's a few that don't want to risk their family getting sick, and that totally makes sense. Not um, speaking out against you guys, but I'm excited to go to the park, and I know a lot of people are. So hopefully we have a really good 2020 season as a lot of these Cedar Fair and Six Flags parks open up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.